hit me, you can break me down. Unless you knock me out, I'm gonna keep, keep coming after you. So that makes for an exciting fight. Nasumi Sakai also is very early in her professional mixed martial arts career. I think she won decision, but people boo to her. That's no good. So maybe people wanted to see more like exciting match. So I want to like, she will be more exciting, I will be more exciting with her. She's very skilled, but she also enjoys being flashy. Um, so it's, regardless, it's going to be entertaining. You know, she definitely likes to go big or go home, so. In her professional debut, while it's technically a no contest, she armbarred the girl and broke her arm, and it was declared a no contest. But she has, for sure, very solid submission and wrestling skills. These two girls are going to go at it. They have so much determination. Each one of them feels that they're the best in the world. Each one of them feels that they have something to bring to women's MMA. Honestly, I fight because I love it. Once I get in that cage, that's my home. She got both her nose and face broken and fought all three rounds to a winning decision. I mean, if that doesn't say toughness, then nothing does. The UWC is it's very excited to continue to help develop the women's division. We had Amon Achel, who had a, an incredibly emotional win um, over Felice Heron in the February Man of War show. Iman Achel is probably the toughest person I've ever met. Here is a woman who fled Morocco to escape an arranged marriage, came to this country with knowing not a lick of English and penniless, wound up being homeless, living in a tent in the woods in winter, finding a way to become a fireman, and eventually found a way into mixed martial arts and won her pro debut. This is, we're talking about an iron will to persevere, an iron will to never give up. You know, I was all, I, every time I watch shows like this, I said, I'm not gonna be that person that says something bad about anybody or to that person. So I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just, I'm just gonna tell her to have a good time and bring it. I'm ready, I'll be ready. Um, she's got discipline. So she's got all these added things besides just heart that, that gives her uh, the edge that she needs to be successful in uh, professional mixed martial arts. You know, when she's in that cage, she does fight like she's on a mission. It's, it's something switches inside of her. Uh, it's funny dealing with Eman's nerves before the fight from a week to the day. Uh, um, to the moments before, but then she steps in that cage and she is hungry. And she does. She fights to win. She's taking on Sumi Sakai, but is a very decorated and I would say accomplished professional wrestler in Japan. That's helpful. It's helpful for a variety of reasons, chief among them being that she is used to the big show. The amount of lights being on her, the amount of press in her face, the amount of attention on her, the amount of stress and pressure on her is something she's very accustomed to. She's accustomed to the idea that she has to perform in front of a large crowds in tense situations. That's still something kind of new to Iman. Secondly, she's an excellent actual wrestler. She does professional wrestling, but she has good amateur wrestling credentials as well. Um, Sumi has a chin of granite. Uh, she can take a punch from me, and I'm a 170-pound pro fighter myself, and she takes it like a champ. Um, and I hate having to hit Sumi, but sometimes I, I have to make her work a little bit harder. Um, she hits like a truck herself. Again, being a small little girl, you'd be surprised by how hard she can really hit somebody. Um, her stand-up is, is crisp and clean, and um, she's all around just a strong MMA fighter um, with her grappling and her striking um, alike. Um, but like I said, she, she is a judo fighter and she is a grappler. And that's, that's what we're going to work on to really push the fight. I definitely expect some, you know, highlight reel moments. Um, obviously some great judo throws, uh, of course. And then, you know, she likes the flashy stuff. So look out for those picture moments that are just going to be, you know, nonstop. You know, Sumi, it's, I, I look forward to it. I can punch her. I can kick her, I can go 100% and she takes it and it's fun and she's, she's fast and creative and she makes me think. I, I only have less than a millisecond to respond and try to outwork her and she's just, she, she's aggressive, absolutely aggressive. 
in general, they have pretty similar skill sets. They're both strong, they're both fit, they're both very determined, they're both very, very tough and durable fighters, but they both generally favor submissions. Who is going to be the better submission fighter? Who is going to have maybe the more well-rounded skill set to win this fight? And who is going to do it under pressure situations? On Saturday, October 3rd at UWC Redemption, it is going to be an explosive female fight between two amazing, tough competitors in Aman Achel and Sumi Sukai.